What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Lyndon Britt, from some sex with Lyndon.com, also the founder of Home Run Marketing, where we cover all bases of your business. And today, we're going to cover a nice little topic that I want you to be thinking about. Matter of fact, I want you to know this. They need you. They need you. Who are we talk about on the day? In about two minutes, we're going to be covering that. We're going to go a little bit deeper. So uh, let me let me cut off these notifications. Got a lot of sounds going on. Ding, ding. All right, so I appreciate you all hopping on here. As you hop on, let me know where you're viewing from. Let me know your city, your state, and all that kind of stuff. I love connecting new people. If you're able to hop on this thing, and just let everybody know where you're viewing from. Just never know when you make a connection right next to you. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Marcus? Appreciate you hopping on here, man. Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. So in about two minutes, that's where the content's going to begin. If you happen to be watching the recording, just to let you know i don't want you to just sit here just be bored like who is he talking to as facebook is building my audience i'm greeting a few people in the sand just just and thanking the people for hopping on here miss uh stephanie what's going on how are you doing today uh i hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day and and of course y'all know i'm in the baseball i had to support my team today so uh you, you you notice the team i play for midland in the house midland in the house stephanie uh where you from miss stephanie Everyone else, as you hop in here, just uh, throw the city in there. You know, I'm from Dallas, Texas here, and uh, in the sunny Dallas, Texas. It's still 80 degrees out here, man. We, we're about to head into winter, and it's still 80 degrees. Can you believe that? Anyways, I got a nice one for you today, uh, but I want you to know they need you. They need you. Man, I'm so ready to hop into this thing. I'm so ready. To, I got about 30 more seconds. We're going to uh, get things started. Um when you hop on here, the reason I say, um, like I said, uh, Asher City, you just never know who you're right next to. I've gotten a chance to connect with people all over the world and also some people in my own city that I didn't even know were local to me. So that's why I asked you to do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there as I get ready to begin and uh, toss, it, toss this thing up and get started. I apply the word of God to my business. Period. Plain and simple. Uh, I'm not taking the Bible out of context. I'm going to give you a verse. I'm not here to give you a, a, a Bible lesson. But what I do, this is how I apply the word of God to my business, how I've been led to do me. And I enjoy doing it. I love doing it. I'm going to be obedient to what I'm being told. So you're going to get a little scripture with your message today. So as we get into this thing, uh, I just want you to know that so you don't say that's not what the Bible means and stuff like that. This is just how I apply the uh, Bible from a biblical sense. All right. So as we get into this thing, first thing we're going to be talking about, uh, um, go ahead and get started. We're going to be talking about Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Ephesians got an airplane on me. Give me one second. I think I'm yelling, and y'all may be hearing that plane more than you hear me. But Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. All right. Uh, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. My focus on that is the middle of that verse, which God prepared beforehand. Which is how I want to tie into the uh, uh, the message. What I want to want to bring you today is they need you. The focus on that being you. They need you. All right. So just to let you all know, when you hear that phrase, when you hear the words they need you, and when the focus on word you, what exactly comes to mind? A lot of people say, uh, if you think from a business standpoint, a lot of people people say uh, they need my business opportunity. Uh, they need what I have to offer them. They they need the no. Okay, I want you all to know to make sure Facebook was still with me. Um, what I want you all to know is by you, I mean you. Okay, it said which God prepared beforehand, which means He made you the way that you are, so that people can accept who you are. Okay, so many people. What's going on, Ju? Uh, Julian, appreciate you hopping this thing, man. So many people have to wait till everything is perfect before they make a move. Everybody has that. People say, I can't do this yet because I don't have this. I can't do that yet because I don't have that. I've got to wait on this and wait on that. If you had to wait on the perfect scenario, the perfect life, how long would it take you to get that perfect whatever it is in order? He said, take that shirt off. <laughs> how long would it take for you to get to that perfect spot in your life before you were able to move to the next level? It would take forever. You cannot wait until something is perfect before you decide to take a move. Now, why do I say they need you? There are so many people that are in a, in a point in their life that need what you have to offer, but because you feel that it's not the perfect time for me, you're not presenting what they need to hear. You're not showing them what they need to see. Your incorporation is a business, not, or, not a business or a product. You're exactly right. 
Exactly right. It's not your product. It's not your business that they need. They need you. They need direction. A lot of people want to start businesses. A lot of people want to start nonprofits. A lot of people want to start organizations. A lot of people want to start a movement, but they don't have a directional sense. They don't have anyone that may be able to guide them or show them or point them in the direction of where they need to go because the person they need to show them is still sitting back waiting on that perfect moment to start to get them moving forward. People need you. What you have to offer, you have to be willing to put that out there. Don't wait for it to be perfect. For the woman that's out there saying, I want to present my business to somebody, but uh, I don't have any makeup. I don't have any concealer to hide any blemishes. For that man that says, I want to start presenting. I, I really like what this product is doing for me, helping me lose weight, but I can't really go out there and market this product if people are looking at me and I'm overweight. Guess what? So forget that. You tell you start using a product yourself and say, I'm getting some results from this thing. I mean, just wait six months down the line. I'm not going to look like I'm looking now, but I want you to be able to see this thing because you can take this journey with me. See, a lot of people, and I throw this thing in the weight thing because a lot of people say, I'm going to wait till I lose 50 pounds before I really start marketing. And it's just to show people it works. It doesn't work like that. Okay, because guess what? A lot of people see the results before you do. If you have, how many of y'all have ever noticed when you were working out or, or doing whatever, you lost weight, somebody told you it looks like you're slimming down before you even noticed you were slimming down. Number one, that lets you know people are paying attention to you. And number two, okay, no, matter of fact, let me repeat that. Number one, that lets you know people are paying attention to you. Okay, number two, people see the results a lot of time before you see them yourself. So if that's your goal, if that's your reason, if you like, if, if there's a, a product or service, and this goes for men or women, men or women, that that you're getting results from, or you may may have just started, and you say, look, I'm looking to get these results right here. I'm working toward this, and I want you to take this journey with me. Why wouldn't you present that to somebody that may be looking for what you have to offer? But you want to wait till you get that perfect figure, that perfect body before you decide to change someone. Guess what? In between that time of you waiting to get that perfect body or to get that perfect result from whatever it may be, this person that's going through hardships, this person that really needs to change their life, that, that really needs to do something about their health is still sitting back, not getting any kind of results, any kind of direction because they're still looking for something to help them out and you're not giving it to them. They need you. Don't wait for things to be perfect before you present. Okay, I want you to imagine this. As a child, when you grew up, for those of y'all that were surrounded, whether you're about one parent or two parent or whatever, and this happens in society a lot of times right now, and I want you to think about this. What would happen if your parents didn't discipline you growing up? Okay? What if they just decided to wait until you got so bad that the police decided they had to put you in handcuffs and take you whatever? And the parents are like, well, I wanted to discipline him, but it just he just hadn't done anything or she just hadn't done anything just that bad. So they had to wait for the if they just waited for you to get that bad to where the police had to step in. Imagine what your life would be like now. That, now, that's a drastic example, but I want you to think about that. Put that in perspective of what I'm saying. Why are you waiting OK, your, 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 your child more than likely is not going to be perfect. You want that person. You're going to start discipline so they can grow up into that man or the woman that they need to be. Right. You're not going to sit up there and wait for things to get so bad, because by that time, things are out of control. Children, children that grow up to feel they run some. A lot of times it's kind of hard to get that control back when it's too late. Right. So why you discipline them along the way? to keep them in line. It's the same thing with your business. You're going to present your business and go step by step and someone else that needs to see that. Look, walk with me step by step. I'm not going to wait till I get to lose 50 to 100 pounds and say, hey, look at the journey I took. You should take this now. When, that, when at the very beginning, that same person was there, you say, hey, take this journey with me. You can do that and change someone's lives in the same manner. Okay. In the same manner. If this is a value, like I said, if you're understanding this, if you're understanding nothing is ever going to be perfect, you're absolutely right, Marcus. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. Nothing is ever. Tell me one situation. I'm And for me, I play baseball. A lot of you all know I play baseball. The first thing I'm thinking uh, when I go up to bat, you know what? I want to hit a home run every time I get up to bat. Do I hit a home run every time I get up to bat? No. That would have the perfect batting average if I did that. But So what if I decide to say, look, I'm not going to go to any practices until I start hitting home runs. 
what good would that do my bad network? What good would that do my, my, my fielding? If I say I'm not going to practice, if I'm not going to do all that kind of stuff until I start, you get what I'm saying now? You don't wait. You work and you progress. You help people along the way. You don't wait till you have the results and all of a sudden now everybody's coming along with you. Okay? So people need you. You can't wait for stuff to be perfect. Okay? As I said, Ephesians 2 and 10, God prepared you. When he was talking about, I said God prepared beforehand. Say we are his workmanship. And if I skip a little bit ahead, which God prepared beforehand, he made you to be who you are. Blemishes and everything. Sitting back waiting is helping no one. You're absolutely right. You're actually, you're actually hurting. And see, a lot of people, I, I won't even go into that. So many people think that they have to have the perfect scenario in order to move forward, and you don't. All right? So that was my message for today. That's my message for today. If it's somebody, if you have an opportunity, if you, perhaps you have an invention. Like I said, and I mentioned this before. And this really, and I really, and I'm going to keep repeating this because it really needs to stick with you. And I want you to think about this. How many times have you thought of a great idea? Have you thought of a great idea and you said, this is going to help me a whole lot? More than, more than not, you have never thought of that. A lot of times when people think of inventions or they think of great ideas, what do they say? I know this could help a lot of people. When somebody designed the correct uh, that, that that new form, it's a new pillow that's on TV right now that helps somebody say, I, I can help a lot of people get more sleep. When they design that, that sleep number bed, some people sleep on hard mattresses, some people sleep on soft. You know what? They didn't make that for mm -hmm. themselves. They're thinking, I'll be able to help a lot of people with this or with that. Be able to get a lot more comfortable sleep. When you think of things, you think of how it can help other people. But do you, and now understand this, if you're smart and you have an invention, and you have to wait until your invention is perfect before you come out. How many times have you had an idea and you say, I got to wait for my idea is perfect before I go get a patent and before I put it out there. And then the next thing you know, you see something similar to what you thought on the television already. Mm. And it's and your invention was better, but it's the fact that what you saw on television was what you were thinking. Guess what? That's because that person probably thought of the same thing and said, look, I'm going to go ahead and get this into the industry. So if somebody else tries to improve on that, now this is a little bit of a um, invention talk for you. If somebody tries to improve on that, number one, they're going to have to wait uh, for a specific time for my patent to go until they can actually add to that. But I want to be the first. Mm. If you want to be that person, you cannot wait till it's perfect. You will find your idea in someone else's head. Your, uh, your idea your 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 business opportunity whatever your the knowledge that you have i i, I said this i said this before my friend tc tc chapman my girl she said one of the things that will always resonate with me everything you know is valuable everything you know is value because what you know i may not know what i know you may not know likewise for everybody else in the world so if you can educate people on the things that you know that they don't know and actually help more people, they're waiting on you. They need you. They need you. All right. So that was my message for today. If you've got a few things that you're working on that you that you really want to get the pushing on, you really need some motivation. You really need some pushing. If if this was a value to you, there are several other messages that I have for you that is back on uh, successwithlending.com. You can check out the blog. If there's free training for you to help you grow your business, if there are other things that that in this message that as a resonate actually resonated with you, if this made sense to you, throw me some likes, throw me some thumbs up, some hearts, some of those those wide open mouth faces, happy faces or whatever. And and there's a share button at the bottom uh, left hand side of your screen where you hit those comments that tickles a little bit when you touch it. All right. Hit that button. Share this thing out because there's some and matter of fact, it's the same thing. There's some people that you can reach that I can't reach. Some people that you're connected to on your Facebook that I'm not that needs to hear this message. How many people have given you a great idea or a thought that you think would be wonderful if they just began doing it? I had a car club that I still, I've been talking about creating a car club since I was 18 and hadn't done it. Guess what? I've seen many car clubs, but still nothing that does what I want to do with it. I'm not the first, but I guarantee you, I will, I, I don't want to wait for somebody else to do it. And this is on me. This is my personal testimony that I've got something that I'm working on. Matter of fact, and there's four patents that I'm working on to get in the industry right now. What are you doing that needs to be seen that can help other people right now? Don't wait. You don't have to wait till everything looks perfect because you can make improvements along the way. When you design a website, you design a 
website one thing at a time. You don't click a button to have a full website. You don't. You've got backgrounds. You've got blogs. You've got add-ons. You've got opt-ins. You've got a lot of links and stuff that go on there. You add things a little bit at a time. When you look at the website, you'll be like, that's not enough. I need to add this. That's not enough. I need to add this. Don't wait till it's perfect to decide to, to, to make a move. Start doing it now because people need you. They need you. And they need what you have to offer. All right, so I appreciate your time. I'm about to get out of here. Matter of fact, I'm about to go educate myself on some more things that I'll be able to share with you a little bit later on. All right, because what somebody else know they're teaching and I'm learning and then I'm going to teach somebody else. That's how it goes. Everything that you learn is something that somebody else learned at one point that taught you. So I appreciate you all hopping on here. Imperfect, imperfect action, your action. Uh, great value, but I appreciate it. Great message, Lyndon. Thanks. Hey, no problem. I appreciate Miss uh, Lisa. Thank you, Miss Lisa. Appreciate it, Marcus. I'm glad you all hopped on here. If this was, like I said, of value, hit that share button, share this out, so we'll be able to connect with a couple other folks and just, yeah, pay it forward, like Marcus said. Let other folks hear something that's going to be a help them. Marcus, I'm ready to dig into some stuff tonight to um, get uh, get some more. Matter of fact, Marcus and I, hey, I commend my guy Marcus right here. He, right now, we're working on building what they call a badass brand. And uh, we're working in this thing. Appreciate it, Julian. We're working on this thing, growing uh, our network. If you're ready to run with us, you want to run with us to be able to learn how to grow your business, grow your ideas, whether it's a storefront, brick and mortar, or you're doing online. You want to learn how to market your business and actually grow and get some results doing some stuff online. Connect with me, successwithlending.com. Marcus, put your, um, if you can, put your, I think it's marcuswatching.com, but Marcus, put your link in there. If you want to connect with us and actually grow with us, Connect with either one of us and we get to get things going. I've got another young lady. If it's some personal issues, I, I know a person, a very good life coach. Her name is Benicia. And, and connect with me. I can connect you with her. Whether it's relationship things you're talking about, personal stuff, finances, all that kind of stuff. And she has some great leadership skills. I want to start connecting you all with people that's actually going to help you in your life. Not just business, but actually in life. So connect with me, successwithlending.com. Marcus is going to put his stuff in there. Uh, um I'm, I'm going to find out uh, Benicia's. I, I forgot it off the top of my head. MarcusWatch.com. Yeah, that was right. Connect with us so we'll be able to help you grow your business and anything else. And we appreciate you hopping on this thing. And you all have a blessed and wonderful day. See y'all later. All right?